Hey G-Squad, welcome back to another episode of Is It Worth It? So for today's episode, I want to talk about this cool pot right here in my hand, if you guys can see. So pretty much what it is, is a rice cooker that you can use to cook rice, cook other stuff as well, like porridge, cake, and soup, and sponge cake, or whatever the case may be. You guys can do all that on here, because it's kind of like a steamer in a way. So I can't really do an unboxing because I already unboxed it and used this product. So I'm going to show you guys that in a second, but before I do, I want to talk about this product a little bit first. So there's other products as well in the market that can do the same thing as this. So this one's by the brand called Buffalo, but there are other ones in the market that's by the brand called uh, Tiger, and then the other one that's called R Roji Rishi, which is the elephant brand for what I call them, because it's much easier, Tiger, Elephant, and then this one's the Buffalo brand. Um, mainly these are the ones that are made in like China or made in Japan, depending on which one you guys buy. All of them pretty much perform their own way, but then also very, very similar, where it's a kind of like a pressure cooker or kind of like a steamer in a way. But this is the one that I've been using to cook rice and all that good stuff every day to come home to eat a very nice meal. Um, you guys can actually steam your own uh, dishes on top of the rice as well, which is really nice. So first thing first, let me show you guys the um, product first and then come back and talk about the product. All right, so here we have the buffalo rice cooker right here. Um, first thing first, um, let me unplug this in so you can see what it looks like after I plug it in and everything. So this is the outlet that I use to plug in, so let's do that first. All right, so the moment you turn it on, you can see you have that option. Um, this one says on right now, so the way how you turn it off is by clicking cancel right here. And it turns off so when you first get the product the time is not correct so the way how you guys change the time on here is by holding these uh, button down so if you hold it down for maybe five seconds it'll change it to that so you can set this time to whatever fits you best if that's the right time for you guys and you guys can set it to that and then when you guys are done just click cancel and then you guys are all set and the time will be there um, the way how you guys change the setting for each one, if you guys want to cook white rice, brown rice, porridge, quick cook, clay pot cooking, um, cake, soup, or steam, click the menu button right here to change it. You guys see that little arrow right there? So now that clay pot cooking, cake, soup, and steam. So the time that they have right here is usually the time that you guys want to use. But if you guys want to change it to a different time, you guys have the option to do that as well. So if you guys want to do like, let's say white rice, all you have to do is click cooking, hold it for a couple seconds. And then when it turns orange, that's how you know it's about to um, start cooking. And if you guys want to cancel it, all you do is click cancel one time and then you're all set. When the rice is finished done cooking or soup or whatever you guys use, um, you can press the keep warm button and it'll keep warm the product inside. So right now we have nothing inside, so we want to turn it off. Um, you guys can preset your timer if you guys want to, quick cook option, if you guys want to do like a quick cook um, rice, if you guys are in, in rush or something, it'll quickly cook the rice so that you guys can have a quick meal. Um, you guys can reheat as well. Reheat, keep warm, is kind of similar, but not too much. Similar, that has its own functionality for each um, option, but that's pretty much everything for this product. Let me show you guys the inside and outside of the product. So the inside, if you guys open it up, we have a very, very nice stainless steel um, little pot right here to make the rice. Um, we've been using this for maybe over a year now, and it's actually really, really nice and really easy to clean. Um, all the rice that sticks on here, or if it does stick, um, you guys can actually just scrape it off uh, easily. You guys don't have to use like the safer side of the sponge where it's not uh, scratch or whatever, because if you, if you scratch this, it's very uh, safe and doesn't like damage anything inside um, that's why stainless steel is so nice and then as you can see that in this part right here all the steam will go over here and then all the liquid will actually drop from this part onto this small little part right here and the liquid will overflow and spill all over this part so that's the one bad thing I noticed about this product it's not a big issue though so what we do is that we get like a little towel or something like this and just put it on here and then absorb the water from that so that way it won't spill all over the place and then you can just rinse the water and just keep using the product for whatever you guys want to use it for and then for this part right here you guys can actually remove it so if you guys want to take it out um, just clean it, wash it, and let it air dry or whatever, and then just put it back on. So really, really easy to um, clean, remove, and put it back on. You really want to make sure they always clean this part up, just to avoid any stains and everything. Because if you guys 
just forget to like wash it or something for like maybe one day or something then it will start staining so same thing for this part right here in the bo uh, bottom of this part so if i look in the bottom of this part you actually see there's a little bit stain because um, we didn't clean that part correctly or we didn't clean it enough um so that tends to happen but it, it doesn't affect anything it's just there will be stain in there and it won't be like going to a rice or anything so don't have to worry about that okay. so that's pretty much the interior of the product now let's look, look at the exterior. So you have all these buttons that I mentioned earlier, the little logo buffalo right here. And then right here we have the um, component where the steam will come out of. So all the steam will come out of here. And then um, you have to remove this part right here to uh, pour out the water that's all in this little uh, container, if you want to call it. But you have to pour this part out, rinse it, and then just put it back on. And then that's that part. Um, right here, we actually right here to give you this little nice holder for your scooper. Um, where you can actually stick it on this side or the other side, wherever you guys want to use that will be best for you guys. That's for up to you to decide. They have a very nice little handle if you guys see right here that you can use to carry it. So if you guys want to bring this on a go or something, traveling, or just bring from one room to another, you guys can use that option as well. All right, welcome back guys. So now that you guys saw the product of everything that's in it, outside it, and everything, now to answer the question of whether or not it's actually worth it or not. Um, this product in particular, I believe I got around like somewhere between 200 to 400 dollars. I think it was like 300 ish dollar. Um, but for that price range, would I say that's actually worth it or not? Honestly, if you guys plan on using this a lot, then it's actually really, really worth it because it's so nice, so easy to clean, so easy to use. Yes can cook multiple stuff on here um, mainly if you guys steam a lot or something or if you guys make porridge or some kind of soup or something then it's actually really worth it if you guys like eating a lot of fried food or don't drink a lot of soup or porridge then this product wouldn't really be worth it for you guys but if you guys do then it's actually really really worth it it's much more healthier than eating fried food so just keep that in mind and then if I were to compare this to other brands as well in the market, like the Loji Rishi and also the um, Tiger brand, um, I'm not sure about how those are, but I noticed that the Loji Rishi also used a stainless steel interior for the rice cooker, whereas the Tiger does not use stainless steel, it uses some kind of material inside, but I believe both of those don't actually uh, stick. This one in particular, I don't think you guys can buy this online. Uh, I think there is like an older version of it, but for this brand, they have a new um, titanium material or something. But pretty much after using it for like more than a year, after using this product and other uh, products by Buffalo, if you guys saw my rain shirt, that's also by Buffalo. Um, they actually perform really well and last really, really long. Really easy to use. And it's been really, really nice to use this product, especially how well it can cook the rice. But other than that, that's pretty much it for the little feedback uh, about this product. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, then make sure to subscribe, like, and comment down below. And as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace. And then for today, G Squad Fan Shout Day, we have. Yeah.